everyone, and welcome to The Insider. We begin with a big trending story we're following closely. Lamar Odom's condition showing small signs of improvement, but it's Chloe who finds herself in charge of his fate. Tonight, we go inside her new reality. My marriage to Lamar was, I loved it, even though there was lows and whatever, but my highs were incredible, and I wouldn't change that for anything. Despite ending their marriage in 2013, Chloe is holding true to this promise. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. Chloe has been there since Tuesday afternoon, um, soon after Lamar was taken to the emergency room. She has not left Lamar's side. While the condition of Lamar remains serious, our insider at DailyMail.com says Chloe has been his rock. Chloe is still Lamar's wife. Although they both signed divorce papers, they were never signed by the judge. Chloe really is hoping for the best, um, but being prepared for the worst. She is the one who is going to be responsible for making the very tough decisions regarding his medical care. I lost my father, and I wish every single day I could just say one last thing to him. Grief counselor Dr. Judy Rosenberg speculates that after losing her own father in a manner beyond her control, for Chloe to be put in a position with power to make a life or death decision would be incredibly complex emotionally. Well, I can only imagine that she's begun the grief process uh, which is in and of itself a very rocky process. Lamar himself made a traumatic life or death decision in 2011. That summer, his cousin was the victim of gun violence that left him hospitalized and unresponsive. I go see him and you know, the bullet goes you know, boom, went straight through and where his, um, body is still working, but his soul is not there or it was trapped and wants to get out. And I tell his mother that I think it's best that we let him go. Less than 24 hours after burying his cousin, a car driving Lamar was involved in an accident that killed a 15-year-old pedestrian in front of his eyes. To see that accident the next day after I had to pull the plug on Curtis was a shock. It definitely brought up emotions from when the baby died. In 2006, Lamar lost his infant son, Jaden, to SIDS. But when he passed, though, I couldn't, I couldn't really like just leave the, the hospital. I stayed with him for about three hours and just sat there with him. I miss him. Um, I always wonder, like, you know, what was he gonna look like? The image of his seven-month-old son, Jaden, lives forever over his heart with this tattoo. During his time with the Lakers, this painted shirt hung in his locker. I think that one of the reasons people tattoo themselves is, is because they really, really don't want to let that person go. And more than that, they, they want that skin-to-skin -skin contact with them. I can see things transpiring for the better. Me too. Sure? I feel it. 